News 4 Jack starts right now with a breaking news alert. Breaking news on the 10 o'clock news. The Coast Guard is searching through the night for two voters who have not returned from a fishing trip off Port Canaveral. One of the men, a paramedic with Jacksonville Fire Rescue. Brian McClooney and another firefighter from Virginia, Justin Walker, were last seen yesterday morning. They were leaving the Christopher Columbus boat ramp and a 24-foot center console you see there. Now, the Coast Guard has been searching since last night. News for Jack's reporter Maggie Lorenz joins us live tonight. Maggie, McClo McClooney's wife believed they're experiencing some sort of mechanical failure. Jenny, so she has not been able to get into contact with them since the time they left yesterday, but she is guessing that this was some sort of malfunction, saying that the boat has had issues in the past. And she says that um, she thinks that those two men are drifting out at sea, that they are okay, and she just hopes they're waiting to be rescued. Brian McClooney is a paramedic with JFRD and a Navy combat veteran. His wife of 15 years, Stephanie, says her husband and his friend, Justin Walker, are both very resourceful on the water. Yeah, they're and then confident in their, you know, boating skills. They're both veteran boaters and such like uh, every time Justin comes down, they do a, you know, offshore, offshore fishing trip. McClooney and Walker are believed to have gone offshore about 30 miles and were supposed to be back around 6 o'clock Friday evening. Crews so far have served about 4,400 square miles. Like I've grown up on the water with, you know, my family and my husband's family, and you know, we know these things happen. It's not the first time this guy's been called or you know, sea toes been called out there before. Stephanie says the two men know each other from fire school in South Florida. McClooney's brother Kevin agrees that they are very capable boaters, but added this outing was special. Uh, actually, our dad passed away. Um, uh, last month so uh, he left the boat behind and uh, we were trying to work out the kinks in the boat to sell it and um, worst sales pitch ever um, it's not back yet so something obviously didn't go right florida fish and wildlife the navy and brevard county sheriff's office are helping with the search And again, that was Maggie Lorenz reporting. Now, we also talked to the Coast Guard's Jacksonville Command Center. They're not suspending the search tonight, and they are going to keep looking through tomorrow and then reassess from there.